What's going on there folks? Good afternoon or good evening. It is the Earth Master back here on this Sunday night, uh, September 10th, 2023, about 7.01 p.m. California time. And goodness, look at the Kilauea Volcano webcam out here. We have hit eruption status here at the Kilauea Volcano on the Big Island. This is just one of many webcams there. Looking at the Lava Lake area, quite a few fissures open up here across the Lava Lake area with a mountain, uh, or I should say with the fountains of activity spewing up a bunch of lava. Uh, the current volcano level is at a red now. That is the Kilauea red and warning level. Uh, the latest informational statement here, let me bring up the hazard notification here. They just put out uh, some updated information. Uh, looking at the Kilauea volcano, the alert level has obviously changed from warning and watch to a red and orange for the aviation code. Kilauea volcano is currently erupting. Uh, so just earlier, it looks like at approximately 3.15 a.m. p.m. Uh, HST on September 10th, uh, the uh, Volcano Observatory observed eruptive activity at Kilauea summit. Webcam images and from field reports indicating that eruption has commenced within the crater and on the down dropped block to the east of Kilauea Summit Caldera uh, within Hawaii Volcano National Park. Uh, so the eruption was preceded by a period of strong seismicity and rapid uplift at the summit. Now we did see quite a bit of earthquake activity here ramping up in the last couple hours. You can see uh, a lot of shallower movement up around the crater area. Last night we did see uh, what looked like a little bit of glowing out there in certain areas of that volcano. Uh, so this is uh, definitely just developing and it's, uh, it's knew it was coming, right? It kept having these little pauses up and down earthquake swarms and uh, finally went around to it here. Um, so the alert level is going to stay on orange and red as this eruption and associated hazards are evaluated. Uh, the opening phases of eruptions are dynamic. And of course, the uh, webcam in imagery shows fissures at the base of the crater, generating lava flows on the surface of the crater floor. That is pretty awesome, man. I'm not even joking. I would love to get out there and see that, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Again, there is some webcams out here. Uh, let me show you guys. They also have a YouTube channel. Uh, maybe I'll include a link to that at the end of this video. Uh, but there's numerous webcams to check out uh, as far as the stationary ones go. Here's uh, obviously, you can see lava just spewing out there. I'm sure the, uh, the webcam itself is much more aggressive uh, when it comes to the dynamics of what's going on out here. Uh, there's another awesome image of the crater area from the observation tower. Uh, looks like quite a bit of uh, magma moving up to the surface, creating those fountains of lava. Look at all these earthquakes here in the last 24 hours, quite a bit. Uh, here's another imagery see lava spewing up here from that fissure area at the uh, crater uh, lava lake area pretty crazy huh so uh, we'll continue to watch this of course and report back on it i'm sure the tilt meters have uh shown a little bit of well check that out that's <laughs> look at that zoom huge spike in the tilt obviously the magma found its way to the surface pretty quickly indicating that rapid rise there in the inflation. That's quite the uh, inflation there. Um, let me go back here and check out the, well, this one here doesn't quite show it, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, some very interesting activity. And there is, um, there is still quite a bit of earthquake activity popping off here at the volcano. There's the magma, the signs of the magma movement right here. A lot of earthquake activity uh, kicking up and um yeah this looks like it was in the last couple hours or so i think they were talking about uh um utc time on those uh on that notice uh, i don't i don't think this started last night although we did see a little bit of glowing out there so hard to say uh, because in their again in their information here it states um at 3 15 a.m which one is it? AM, PM. I'm guessing it's got to be PM. It has to be PM because that graph right here, obviously that graph shows it around um, the 315 or, or right, right about here or so when the uh, eruption started. And uh, that's it. That's 
pretty awesome. I was wondering how long it was going to take, but, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time with Kilauea Volcano. It's very active, and uh, how long it will stay in the eruptive stage, who knows? We'll just continue to watch that and report on conditions as they change and uh, evolve. Uh, as far as the live webcam, they do have a link to it there at, at YouTube. I'll include that here in the video. And, of course, they got plenty, plenty of... Um, webcams let me see the summit cams out here again there it is look at that absolutely stunning image uh there is the uh, thermal image obviously we forgot to check that last night i meant to check that um, but obviously we can see things are definitely uh very active at the surface level of kilauea volcano look at that goodness so One day, one day we'll get out there, right? Hawaii is beautiful. Big Island of Hawaii uh, and the uh, volcanoes when they're active are just stunning to say the least. All right. So this look at uh, earthquake activity, that's still continuing. I think we should see this drop off here eventually uh, as far as the earthquake activity goes. Most of the time, earthquake swarms uh, prelude the magma rising up towards the surface. Once they find a break... Uh, the lava just generally flows pretty easy or the magma flows up to the surface becomes lava obviously and um, earthquake activity should uh, calm down but we'll continue to watch that and see how that uh, evolves but either way quite a bit of earthquake activity there uh, leading up to and right about the time of the eruptive status i do have um you know i do have a couple different seismograph stations here at least one of them around the hot caves hawaii uh, this one this thing was quite active here over the last couple hours all right also what else do we have here right right about this time here we have um let me go back over here we have an m flare <laughs> roughly about the same time as uh the kilauea volcano erup eruption here that's coming off of a far side sunspot here on the eastern limb of the sun pretty bright feature um looks like a huge match out there someone lit a big fire on the sun well those are flares but that's a, a definitely a dandy of a one looks pretty cool anyway uh reading up to about a m what was a m 1.3 here on the chart not completely earth directed it's from a uh, far side sunspot which will be uh, obviously uh, rapidly uh, progressing across the sun's disc here and into a little bit more perspective. It looks like that area of interest is going to be coming from one of these regions here. I've got to see exactly where that is. Is it 34.23? This was put out. Um, this was put out earlier this morning. Um, hard to tell. It looks like it's coming from that region over here, though. Uh, which is going to be 3429 right up in here. The latest imagery uh, does show a little bit of complexity there, but this looks like it's a rapidly developing sunspot. So we'll watch this area for some more flaring. That's not now, it's not a strong flare, but a low grade M flare, uh, somewhat active from that area. A couple other sunspots out here too that we're kind of watching. And uh, it looks like it's starting to pick up far as sunspot activity goes so we'll continue to watch that overall threat right now uh, appears to be a 99 cent or 99 cents 99 percent chance of c flare activity uh m flare at 40 percent chance there's somewhat elevated x flare around five percent chance as well there's a little bit of a the blackout going on across the sunlit side of the earth centered mostly over the western pacific there um north of papua new guinea area Uh, no major CMEs have been produced, uh, but we'll continue to watch all these sunspots as they uh, begin to get active. All right, uh, back to the earthquake activity. See if we've got anything else going on around the world. Um, you know, I think I think a lot of that activity we've seen around the Pacific Plate here over the past couple days and along the eastern section as well kind of put the squeeze on the uh, um, what's going on in the middle of the Pacific Plate here. I think that has a lot to do with the influx of uh, further magma there underneath Hawaii. Uh, it's been quite active across the Pacific Plate. And, the, of course, a big island out there sits on that hot spot. And uh, I think I think, uh, 
think I had something to do with uh, all the uptick in earthquake activity we've seen here recently. So far as recent activity goes today, uh, still seeing a little bit of movement here across the Japan area, waiting on potential further movement here. Handful of earthquakes, mostly in the four range across that area. Uh, down here across the area of New Guinea. Um, what do we got here? That's from last night, 4.9. A couple other earthquakes here in a, in a little swarm fashion from this morning. That has since died off. Uh, Kermadec Trench over here has been somewhat active as well, working its way down along the plate boundary uh, with the latest one, 4.6, 82 kilometers deep. So again, keep an eye on New Zealand. I don't think they've seen anything major uh, going on there. In fact, their earthquake map, let's see what it looks like. It's only showing the 2.8 from yesterday. Uh, so if there was anything major going on, obviously we would see it on these drums and um, just not really seeing it at all. But still, uh, they've been awfully quiet, so we've got to keep this area in mind as it sits along that plate boundary that has been quite active up to the north. Uh, one earthquake here around Iraq, 4.7. That was from earlier this afternoon. And, uh, of course, aftershock activity there in Morocco with a 4.2 and a couple other earthquakes out there. Looks like in the uh, 2 and 3 range, but that should slowly dissipate. There's always a potential of seeing somewhat of a, uh, uh, you know, a secondary aftershock of close to the, the, the magnitude that we've seen, but I don't think so. It's not, I don't think it's dynamically set up out here to see that uh, uh, type of setup. But either way, expect some aftershock activity there in the region. South America, a bunch of older earthquakes. Had an earthquake way up into the Canada region. It's not showing up here on the USGS map. So we need to go to the Earthquakes Canada map here. Let's see if I can find them. I got a bunch of... A bunch of um, bookmarks here. As you can tell, they're mostly space and weather and all that good stuff um let's see here let's go to earthquake uh canada since i can't find the um correct bookmark <coughs> let's see where they at i think this is it right here right is this one i normally use it looks like it so here's the latest map there's that earthquake way up in the northwest territories up here uh, 4.4 coming in about one kilometer deep way up there Kind of an odd area away from the plate boundary either way some activity stirring up there in Canada Today as far as California goes a handful of smaller quakes throughout the southern portion of the state and um, Aside from that just general movement. It looks like across the area today Puerto Rico a handful of quakes as well some of that movement from earlier this morning, but uh, generally a lot quieter today. Uh, I mean, it looks like there's quite a few quakes, but there's no large scale movement um, today so far, aside from you know a couple of volcanic activity around the uh, Krakatoa area, Indonesia. We got several volcanoes uh, across the globe that are in active stage, um, but some of those are very typical. Sometimes those are you know they're always active. 5.3 was the largest out here in the last 24 hours, uh, and that uh, tied the 5.3 there in the Kermadec Island. So 5.3 Japan, 5.3 into the Kermadec Islands. All right, folks, um, just stay safe out there. And I just want to jump in and um, chime in on the Hawaii activity. Again, I will provide the uh, YouTube link here if you want uh, at the end of this video as a up next video so you guys can check out the live view. Or I'm sure uh, potentially it's already been listed here in chat. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later. Uh, have a good one.